enjoy my Snickers now. Are you reading this one? Oh, it's me. Dang, I'll take a bite later. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's time to get cooking oh, with good. Chef Nanny okay. and Bobby, and we're learning how to make a delicious meal in a one-sheet pan. Oh, let's take a look. Mwah! To everybody in the studio, Rocky, Lindsay, miss you so much. It's been eight months. I can't believe it. Can't wait to get back. But one thing that's been consistent is Chapman has joined us every week in our Nanny Bubby kitchen. So happy to have him. And this week, Melissa Foods is also joining us, and they have provided our butternut squash for this recipe. And this recipe is a sheet pan dinner. So I can't wait to tell you all about it. We're going to start with some cut up butternut squash. We're going to go to Brussels sprouts and the key to using Brussels sprouts when you're going to roast them is to first soften them, either steam them or put them in the microwave for two to three minutes. Get them nice and soft and then just put those right onto the sheet pan. There we go. Let's mix it around. We're then going to take some zucchinis and let me show you how we cut these up. We take off the ends. Then we slice it vertically and turn it flat and put four sections into that zucchini. Here we go. And then off we go. Fourth ingredient are these beautiful heirloom carrots. Gotta love them. These come from Trader Joe's. They're always there, it seems, all year long. Just a rough chop on these. So the next ingredient is a red onion sliced very, very thin. And what I do with these is I take them and slice them in half. And that way they come apart when they're being roasted. I've done that in this bowl here, so we're just going to pour these right on. There we go. And the sixth ingredient are apples. And I've used two different colors just to add color to the sheet pan. I'm using about a third of each um, apple. So you can see how piled on all of this is. And when you end up having this much, which I cut up a great deal, if you roasted it like this, it would not roast. You have to give it some space, otherwise like this, it would steam. And now it's set to add the meat. Let me show you what we're going to add. So let's talk about what we're putting in for meat. So I'm using sweet Italian chicken sausage and also this other one which looked too good to pass up which is smoked apple chardonnay chicken sausage. But for those of you who are vegans, I want to give you a nice alternative. This is from Trader Joe's and it's a soy product. It's completely meatless. It's kosher too in case that interests you. And you can take this and slice it up in the same manner that we're going to do these. So let me show you how I do it. So we're all ready to go. We're going to season our sheet pans. And into the oven we go. Here it is, food fit for a king. I made a lot because my family's coming over tonight for dinner. But I want to tell you that after I took it out, it looked very brown to me and I didn't like that. Remember, cooking's very instinctual. So I chopped up some fresh green and red apples and just threw them in just to add color and the extra crunch will probably really be delicious. It pairs nicely with a glass of Italian Val Policella. I'm going to reach in with my hands. Uh-oh, but it smells too good not to try it. Mmm. Caramelized, delicious, sweet, salty, so amazing. I hope you have a great weekend. 
buy your tiger pumpkins now, put them in your refrigerator. They'll be gone at the end of October, but in mid-November, they will still be good, and we are going to learn to make tiger pumpkin soup bowls and butternut squash soup for Thanksgiving. See you next time. Check out Chef Nanny Bubby on Facebook and Instagram, and thanks to Chapman Automotive for sponsoring the segment. Las Vegas Now will be right back.